What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and it's time to put Heihachi Mishima from Tekken into Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Switch. We have lots to get through, moves, music, and more, so let's not waste any time. Now when it comes to Heihachi's standard abilities, it's pretty obvious that most, if not all of them, would be standard melee attacks. Simple attacks taken from his Tekken move list, but that's no problem, we've had all melee characters before. Captain Falcon, Ganondorf, and of course Sonic. His special attacks wouldn't be much of an exception either, but they would have some pretty interesting properties. His standard special would be the Lightning Hammer, an unblockable move from the Tekken series. Heihachi would raise his arm up and chop straight down to slice his opponents. And since it chops downwards, hitting opponents who are in the air will be left with a meteor effect plummeting to their doom. It'd be pretty satisfying to time properly, like Luigi's down taunt. His side special would be the Spinning Demon. Heihachi would crouch down, spin around, and juggle his opponents with his feet. Landing the last hit would allow him to chain into another attack, similar to how in Tekken the Spinning Demon can be chained into a punch. Using this would be great to set up opponents for a smash attack if they're at high percents. His up special could be the Dragon Uppercut, a very standard punching recovery. Yeah, it's not very interesting, but the Shoryuken made it as a recovery for Ryu. Then finally, his down special would be Anger. In Tekken, each character can charge their key to increase their stats temporarily for one hit or until they get hit. And it could work this way for Heihachi in Super Smash Bros. 2, only with the limitation of having the effects that increase not increase as much the more you use the move. Next up are his costumes, and oh man, there's plenty to choose from when it comes to Heihachi. His standard black gi, his Tekken 7 alternate costumes, his more bluish gi from Street Fighter Cross Tekken, his young form, all of his robes and suits, and of course his very classic outfits from Tekken 1 and 2. No alternate colors here, Nintendo. All these outfits are an easy one to pick out. Heihachi's final smash is, of course, really, really obvious. What else could it be other than strapping his foes to a rocket and sending them off into space? Now before you call out that this would just be copying PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, this is actually a reference to a scene in Tekken 5, where Heihachi launches Jin, Jinpachi, and Kazuya into space. We have plenty of cool cinematic Final Smashes like this, so why not add to the list? Now when you think of stages in the Tekken series, you can't really think of any with platform elements, which is trouble because Smash Brothers is a platform fighter. But many people forget Devil Within, that special mode from Tekken 5 where it's like a beat-em-up game. The Mishima Zaibatsu Labs in Ogre's Temple would make great stages with their rotating platforms, breakable walls, and breakable floors. Plus, we don't have very many stages in Smash Bros based off laboratories. It'd be a unique setting. Now it's time for assist trophies, the first one being Kuma, and this is where we copy PlayStation All-Stars a little bit. Kuma would act like he does there, appearing and chasing down your opponent, swinging his arms, slashing them with his claws. It'd be pretty terrifying for a random bear to come at you out of nowhere. Then of course, since this is Tekken, we'd have to have Yoshimitsu as an assist trophy. He'd do his usual thing, flying with his sword like a helicopter blade, teleporting, just being weird in general. And of course he'd have the ability to spit poison at your enemies, that would do damage over time like the flower item. Normally, coming up with items for a traditional fighter would be pretty tough since they don't have them, but thankfully Tekken is easy to cover with all of its customizable items. There's the magic wand, which typically changes your head in Tekken games, but one swing of this could leave your opponent with some other random effect. Poison, slowdown, confused controls, Better limit it to a one-hit only weapon so it's not too overpowered. Then there's the flamethrower from Tekken 6's scenario campaign. It's pretty much a minigun that shoots fire instead of bullets. But unlike the fire flower, it wouldn't run out. Just give it time to recharge and you can use it all over again. Then finally there's the halo item. In Tekken, when you get KO'd, the halo item will make you float towards the sky as some kind of funny death animation. But in Super Smash Bros, it could literally save you from death. Out of jumps? Already used your recovery? No problem, the Halo will help you float back up from the blast zone. Fun fact, Heihachi Mishima was originally going to be a character to represent Namco in Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U, but he was switched out for Pac-Man because Sakurai was having difficulties converting Heihachi's playstyle from Tekken to Super Smash Bros. Well, I just gave you some ideas, Sakurai. What do you think? Anyways, it's about time to end the video. But before I go, here are the 8 pieces of music that I think would fit Heihachi the best, and be sure to stay tuned for that because afterwards, you'll find out who's next.